Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn how to update OWEP's Zap Proxy tool in Kali Linux. Now, if you will install the latest version of Kali Linux, then OWEP's Zap Proxy tool is by default installed on the system. But to get the latest feature of this tool, you need to update it. Now, updating Zap Proxy tool inside the Kali it's a bit tricky but no need to worry just follow the steps what i'm doing open your browser and again search for zap proxy org you will find the zap which is the first option click on that click on download zap Now, you can see the standard version is 2.8.0. Okay, you need to download the Linux package. Now, previously we have downloaded the installer. Now, we are downloading the Linux package, which is a zip file. Okay, click on download, save the file. I have already downloaded the file so I am keeping this this file go, will got downloaded inside the downloads click on places and open downloads you will find the zip file inside the download you simply need to extract this file to extract it select the file right click on it and open with the archive manager you will find the extract option here click on extract and i want to extract inside the download now simply click the extract at when and it will do the work okay click on close close this tab and you can find the folder over here now open the computer inside the computer you will find the user folder which is usa usr okay double click on that inside that folder you will find the folder name share again double click on that now you have to search for zap proxy z a p R O X Y. Mind the uh, spelling here. Okay, Z A P R O X Y. You will find the first folder, which contains uh, around thirteen items. Might be different on your version. Okay, double click on that. okay open this folder now what do you have to do go to downloads okay go to the folder we have extracted that is zap 2.0 8.0 select all this file and copy now you have to paste that file inside that zap proxy folder okay let me open the folder so this is the zap proxy folder inside the user share and this zap proxy right so you need to select all the file and i will Sorry, I will control A and control V. Okay. Click on the apply this action and click on the merge. Again, apply the action to all the files and folders and replace. So 
once the files got downloaded okay paste the copied one to one files to zap proxy our work has been done you can simply open the zap proxy from web application and you will find the all zap okay it will take some time for the first time because uh, it is executing the latest version so you need to wait here so you can see we got the 2.8.0 version of OS zap you can also open it from terminal suppose if you don't find this app option inside the web application then you can simply open the terminal and type zap proxy and simply hit the enter okay so it will execute the application you can simply minimize this uh, terminal if you will close it then your web, uh, application also got closed okay so you need to minimize the terminal so that's it we have learned how we can update the zap application inside the kali linux